What's up guys, Rick Denham here, Holy Moly Outdoors. Thank you so much for joining us today because we got episode two of our Tech Tip Tuesday video and we're sticking with some saltwater fishing, so stay tuned, you ain't gonna wanna miss this. All right guys, so like I said, we are back again and we are talking fishing. So this is so much fun because there's a lot of stuff going on. We talked and stuck with some hoochies on the last video for episode one. If you guys wanna check that out, look for the uh, pop-up here in the top section that'll take you to that episode. Um, we went over a little bit of squid hoochie rigs that'll add some UV flash, so it's a very good one to start with for coho. But on the other side of that terminal end gear, we wanna talk flashers. And I'm gonna show you guys something today. Part of this tech tip is gonna be making your own flashers even better. Right now, there has been a huge push of popularity towards this type of flasher. What I'm talking about is something that lights up. Many of you may see all over social media right now, the Pro Troll lighted flasher as being the hottest new thing out there. Well guys, okay, it's very effective for a couple reasons and I wanted to go through the tech tip today to kind of showcase this new flasher as opposed to something like our old style, normal, nothing out of the blue ordinary or something like this guy, a sliding flasher. So we have options out there and this light up flasher brings a little bit new to the table and I have something that I'm gonna showcase to you as well here in a second. You can make your own and it's even cooler <laughs> if you can believe it. But in reality, we're looking here at something that is innovative. I mean, really guys, adding a light to a flasher helps draw in more fish, potentially more strikes. There's a lot of upside to that. So this is the Pro Troll 11 inch lighted flasher. And this light, as I will show here in a second, flashes three colors. So it is effective because it has a little bit of contrast as you're down at depth. Whether you're fishing coho early in the morning Really guys, just like glow and UV, they never hurt you by having this. So why not have something that adds a little bit of extra flash to it? So we're gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So I think there's a couple things to bring into factor here of why something like this is effective and has been. I Maybe mean, there's a lot of guys, even some tackle shop owners who are using these with great success. But like this color here, you guys can see one of two things. It's got really good contrast with this green and the UV. So first off, you have moon jelly tape, UV pattern there, it's glow on the back. Already, most of our flashers have some sort of combination of that anyways. So you're utilizing two factors that are already popular. Pro Troll has that little um, E-chip there, which also adds potentially another factor to this, um, making the flasher effective. Now, these are water-activated lights, so you can do one of two things to test these. Uh, when you get yours at home, you can put it in water and watch it. You could lick your finger, make the, the conductivity go through, and you can see the light. So I'm going to show you that here in a second. Before I really get into that though, there is another product from Pro Troll that you can make your own lighted flasher. And we're gonna compare how bright these are side by side. So you guys can really see how effective something like this could be out there, but you don't have to pay the full price for one of these guys. You can actually get two for the price of one. So let's take a look at this firsthand. We are gonna turn off the lights here in our little room and we're gonna show you how bright this is firsthand. So one sec.
Alright, so you guys aren't going to be able to see me very well. Lights are off. Flasher is right here in front of the camera. You can kind of see that. Um, and we're going to turn on this light. Again, I am just licking my finger, making the terminals connected. There is a white, a green, and a red light flashing. Once I take my finger off, it stops. That is what you're seeing being so effective right now. So that's the front side. On the back, it has an even brighter side to that light. So front side and back side. So that in itself is really neat something that's innovative there isn't anything else like it out there so really guys you can see why it's effective at an early first light kind of bite or even in deeper water you get something out of that light to draw in more fish now let's turn on the lights and we're going to take a look at this other option from Pro Troll to make your own All right, so lights are back on. Now let's take a look what I'm talking about. So again, I showed you first standard Gibbs flasher here. Really, really cool. Always popular. Got a sliding Dick Knight with some custom tape on this guy. But how can we make your own if a flasher has this built in with the light. I can't take that off and put on another flasher. Nope. But what I can do is I can pick up one of these. We're talking here the Pro Troll Strike Light Attractor Light. Guys, these come in two per pack for about, depending on where you get them from, probably about $14. So you're getting two of these for fourteen dollars when retail of one of these lighted pro trolls is close to twenty dollars so right there already two lights for the price of one and again i'm not knocking this by any means it's very effective and it works really well but somebody on a budget that might want to make their own you can do this and what these are is they are a stick on LED light that is insanely bright. Runtime, you get about 200 hours out of each of these, and just about the same as you do for the lighted flasher. The only thing different is these stick on lights are a very bright LED that has three light sequence options. So I'm going to push it right here, and you can see it. There's a little green button. And that's what you're going to use to turn it on. So first one should be a flash, fast blinking light. Fast blinking, slow blinking, or a steady. And what's so cool about this, guys, you can take your favorite flasher and make it lighted. So... It's just a 3M tape on the back side of that. About the size maybe of 2 inches. And that little LED light in the center. You can take your favorite flasher. Like this Dick Knight one of mine for black mouth. All straight UV. Glow tape on the back. Light in the center. Now I have my own flasher that lights up. So, super cool, super easy to use. I'm going to turn off the lights, show you in sequence, lighted flasher of my own versus Pro Troll on the purchase side. Show you guys how much brighter these really are, but that doesn't diminish the effectiveness of the other. Just something to give you guys options for. So, lights coming off again, and we'll show you this how it goes.
All right, guys. So again, Pro Troll here on my right, lighted flasher with the three different colors. On my left is the green custom light. So not to diminish from this guy here, look how much brighter this LED light is. No joke, I can pretty much light up the entirety of the room and film using this green light from the flasher. It is super bright, super effective. Guys, what can you say? That is so freaking cool to have that option. Now, this flasher from Pro Troll that lights up as well is effective because it has all three. It has UV, it has glow, it has actually even that e-chip and then the light. So there's four pieces to this guy that makes this a super effective flasher. But I have to say, to be honest with you, how bright this custom light is, you can make any flasher just that. So we're going to take and quickly show you adding this to the Gibbs Red Racer and we'll make our own effective flasher. And guys, just one quick second pause. Everything's going to be explained in the description below, so don't worry. Check out the description to find links to where these flashers can be purchased at and the different types of stuff we're talking about. So, thanks. Because you always want to have more than one on the boat. I have a handful of Dick Knight flashers here with this already on it. Been very effective this year. And then I'll take this. So quickly here, there is a 3M tape on the back. You pull this off. You're left with the sticky side. Take your flasher. And what I have found to be the best way to do this is you want to have this positioned on the cup side of the flasher. So not the back side, the front side with the cup because it spins best this way. I then take, line it up right about halfway, maybe even a little bit below that, and I push it on. I then, because this is a sticky tape, I make sure to get really good firm pressure on this baby. And you wanna let that sit overnight. Not necessarily having something on it, but you want it to really be able to cure up and stick to this deal. Once that's ready to fish, come the morning, you push your green light, and you got yourself a lighted, super effective flasher of your own. Super, super cool. So, hope you guys love this video. The next week we're doing a Tech Tip Tuesday, we're gonna break it off and go to the bank fishing realm for coho off the beach because this is game time for you to catch some really nice fish right off the shore and we're gonna showcase some fun ways to do that. So thanks again so much guys. Really love all your support. Give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Our giveaway is happening so check out that video. Um, I can't thank you guys enough so we'll catch you out on the water. Take care and fish on.